What's up, CHS? I'm your host, Roy, and welcome to The Roy Show, the most radical, rambunctious, and rowdy show on the planet. So stay tuned for today's edition of The Roy Show. Welcome back, everyone. We'll be kicking off the show with Roy Talk, the interview portion of the show. First off, I would like to welcome and thank the people from the bait that came today. Can you introduce yourselves? Uh, well, th thank you for having us. Uh, I'm Sam. Uh, I'm in 11th grade, and uh, I do what's called a public forum debate. Uh, yeah, my name is Ryan. I'm in 11th grade as well. I also do public forum, and I also do Congress as well. Uh, my name is Ethan. I'm also in 11th grade, and I also do public forum debate. So when did you guys first hear of debate? Well, uh, I did debate in seventh grade at, uh, in junior high, and that was really like kind of what sparked my interest because I always like, you know, kind of like yelling at people and like arguing <laughs> with them, kind of like, kind of like that. And, you know, and I, you know, as you get older, it like gets a little harder and, you know, a lot more, you know, digging into it and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, my uh, interest in debate also started in uh, junior high in seventh grade with Ms. Sultan. Uh, it was a really good class. Uh, and also, I've always been interested in politics, so I feel like uh, having a class in debate would, um, you know, allow me to share my interest in, in such. Yeah, uh, mine also started in seventh grade in Miss Sultan's class. <laughs> I'm actually, me and Sam's first debate tournament yeah. ever was together. That's correct. So. Well, okay, Fun so time. you guys have a little bit of history. Um, can you guys tell me, though, uh, you guys mentioned, like, you do public forum debate, and then you do public forum also, and another thing that Congress. I forgot. Um, Congress? Yes, yes. Like, con it's like a, it's like a, like a fake, fake Congress. You pretend to be, like, a uh, congressperson. So can you, can you guys, like, explain what that is? Yeah, so the, the public forum is, like, a, a two-person debate. So it's, like, a, a team going against another team, and the, the organization, like, gives you like the resolution so currently for these two months it's like should the federal government substantially increase funds for high-speed rail and then you write like a four-minute case for each sides and you don't going into the debate you don't know which side you're gonna get and so you flip a coin and that kind of determines which one you're gonna get so you have to prepare both sides and it's kind of cool because you know like you kind of understand what the other side is gonna say yeah so there's four speeches that are given there's a constructive speech a uh, second constructive speech a summary speech and a uh, final focus speech and so you have to prepare um, most of those speeches in the debate the only speech that is prepared before the debate is the very first one. So that, that's one of the things that is really scary whenever you're in the debate. Like, you have to get these, speech perf these speeches perfect or else you're going to lose. Yeah, and between each, like, pair of speeches, because there's two teams going against each other, there are these things called crossfires, which is basically the where you are arguing live with the other team yeah. and trying to break down their case And you can the ask judge. them questions. You ask them the questions. Generally, like, you already know the answer to the question. You kind of, like... You want to ask the question, like guilt them into saying an answer that you know would help in your favor, and so you like you don't want to ask a question you don't know the answer to already. And so then the main goal of all this debate is just to convince a judge that your side is right. Wow. Okay, that's a lot. Oh my God, I just got I just got bombarded. Uh, and what are some of the most interesting topics that you've ever had to debate about? Oh, I, I said the PF I, one I, last I year. I would I would say the PF one last year was. Uh, it was, should, should the federal government legalize all illicit drugs? So we actually had to, like, because it's PF, so we have to argue the, the affirmative and the negative, so we actually had to argue that the United States should legalize all illicit all, drugs. Like, all oh. drugs. All drugs. Yes. Uh, and not just, you know, marijuana or anything, but all, so, like, you know, fentanyl. And, like, so it was it was hard to, you know, affirm that, but, you know, you always have to find a way, and so that was, that was pretty fun, mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah, and some of the most interesting ones are for this speech type called Extent, where yeah. basically... You go in not knowing the topic, you get you draw a topic, and you have 30 minutes to research it and then present a debate on it. Wow, so. okay, so did you, did you skip view it and go make a topic on this? All right, and finally, guys, final question. What's your opinion on applesauce? 20 what? seconds, go. I love applesauce. Applesauce is delicious. Okay, I've not had applesauce in years, but whenever I had it, I absolutely despised it. I just do not think that that fits. Like, I, I do not think that apple should be converted into that sauce form. Just eat an apple how it's supposed to be eaten. But eating an apple, I, it turns I into applesauce. I think it really depends. If it's like in the pouch, then it's not good. But if you're eating it right out of like the, the little cup, then you know it's fine. But I haven't had applesauce in probably like seven or eight years. So yeah. My, yeah. My, my, my opinion might have changed if I had it today. So. I have applesauce literally in oh, my dear? lunch right now. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> well, well, it was great hearing what you all had to say. Uh, we're we're going to take a quick break. 
And when we come back, we'll be introduced to the first part of our surprise debate topic. Yeah, you. Are you sad? Are you missing something in life? Is there an inexplicable void in your heart that needs filling? Well then boy do I have the solution for you. Game time solves all your problems, baby. All you have to do is fill out the game time participation interest form. It's a simple short seven questions that help our producer get in contact with you so we can put you on the show. And remember CHS, it's a great day at Chick-fil-A. This ain't no Chick-fil-A. Welcome back, everyone, to our surprise debate topic. I'm going to be drawing some topics from this little cup here. And the topic is, let's see, oh boy, is Eve from Wally, a Disney princess. Okay, I want y'all to be disagree, and I want y'all to be agree. Let's go. You guys can have first question. <laughs> why, why, why do you not think she's, uh, why is she not a Disney princess? Well, because if we look to the movie Moana, Maui says that Disney princesses have to have an animal sidekick, and Eve does not have an animal yeah, sidekick. Yeah, that's Wally. Therefore, Wally's an animal sidekick. Wally's, Wally's not an animal, robot. he's a robot. Yeah. Doesn't matter. He's a conscious being capable of doing stuff. Correct, and that's yes, defined. Yes, but uh, Wally's more like a, a main character, not a, not a side chick. <laughs> Wait, so for, for, for a princess to be quantified as a princess, they have to have like a sidekick who is not a main character. Yes, yes. this is further... An, an uh, animal. According to Disney's movie Moana. Uh, do you have the source for that? It's also Moana. according to uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Wreck-It Ralph 2, where uh, the, the, the little girl goes into the room of Disney princess, and yes, it is required for them to have an animal sidekick. So, so do you have evidence that every single Disney princess follows this rule? Yeah. Yes, because and in, also, the movie, in, Moana, in the movie Moana, he states apparently. that if who, you are he? a who Disney Maui from the movie Moana, voiced by Dwayne it. The Rock Johnson, oh, he stated that you have to have an animal sidekick to be a princess. And we all know that Dwayne tells the truth. Why can't Wally be an animal? And I will say, what? I will say, how valid is his opinion? Yeah, I agree. Like, it's like, coming straight the, from Disney's the, mouth. The, 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 no, it's the most valid listen, point. Straight from the Rock Moana himself. Moana is from the Maori tribe, and the Maori are like super isolated, right? So how can how can Maui say all this stuff about every single princess, right? Whenever he's super isolated, he doesn't know. This is okay. true. Provide me, provide me. Wally, that says the Wally is also in the future, so you, the, the Disney princess qualifications have changed. This is this is this is years into the future, and okay. the qualification to be a Disney princess have changed. Okay, listen, L let's agree upon one thing here. We can agree that Eve is a girl, right? But obviously, it, it, it's a, it's a female. All right, sure. Right? Yes. If, if she is a independent woman, right? She's pursuing her own thing. There we go. She is getting stuff done. Getting stuff done. On that ship with the fat people. Yes. I think that she deserves the title of a princess. Disney princess. She does everything else that the other princesses do, and I think that is a perfect example. Little kids can look up to Eve as a Disney princess and inspire to be her. Well, I disagree. She's less marketable, and everybody knows that in order to be a Disney princess, you need to be very marketable. I, she can be very marketable. I'd love to be a robot. Who's gonna dress up as a robot uh, on Halloween? A white, round robot. That floats. No. That's pretty cool. A newborn baby? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you can argue that, sure, she should be a Disney princess, but based on the qualifications set by Disney that you have no evidence against, she is not a yes, Disney princess. Yes, we have evidence against it. This is, this, is, this is hundreds of years into the future. The movie was not made a hundred years from now. It's made in the future. Furthermore, your opinion... All right, all right, all right, all right, all right guys. All right, guys. All right, guys. Alright, this is getting a little too heated. Okay, okay. A little too heated. Okay, okay. I don't think so. Next topic. Oh, there's another one. Oh, we're doing multiple Next topic. topic. Oh, here we go. Oh, Next right, topic. Right, right. Next topic. Oh, I was not ready for another one. But before the topic, we're gonna take one more quick break.
Make sure to go to ktignews.com and click the nominate button to nominate your favorite teacher for Teacher of the Week. The winning teacher and student who nominated them will get lunch. Do you like Mod Pizza? Join the Golden Girls at Mod on the South Loop this Thursday night and help support them as they raise funds for their senior scholarship. The Culture Diversity Club, aka the CDC, will meet every Wednesday from 245 to 345 to plan for upcoming cultural awareness and events. Come and be a part of the organization that brings people together by celebrating how we are different. We'll have our Spanish club meeting today at 3 p.m. in room 2025. Come join us. Next art club meeting is on Tuesday, October 25th in room 1004. We will be printing our club t-shirts for the year and you must bring your own t-shirt or hoodie to print on. This is also our fall party, so please make sure that you have signed up on the sheet Win Room 1004 to bring snacks to share with the group. Join us Monday, October 24th in the LGI for our next student council meeting. We will be making spirit posters, bags to celebrate our veterans, and start a teacher appreciation project. Are you interested in being part of the CHS UIL math team? Come to room 1029 starting on Monday, October 24th, 2022 for an informal meeting. We will then meet weekly on Mondays in room 1029. Conroe Boys Water Polo Team beat College Park 12 to 10 in the third round of the UIL playoffs this past Monday. They are now in the final 16 in the state and they will play South Lake Carroll on Saturday at 1.30. Coach Porter and Coach Page are proud of how well the team has played. Tulane University is a private four-year university located in uptown New Orleans, Louisiana. Tulane is a medium-sized university with approximately 7,500 undergraduate students. There are five schools of study, architecture, business, liberal arts, public health, and science and engineering. Approximately 85 to 90 percent of students are from out of state, and many receive merit and need based financial aid packages. Tulane has Division I sports and is an American conference. The mascot is the Green Wave and is often depicted as an Angry Wave cartoon figure. If you enjoy visiting New Orleans, you may enjoy spending your college years attending Tulane University. All right, now let's keep going. That was pretty smooth. Okay. Robots will increase people's quality of life. I want y'all to be agree or try to be disagree. All right. So, I will say that, I know y'all are going to come at me and say, oh, it's going to make our life easier, right? But you have to factor in how much unemployment is going to be Completely. a part of American society and as a result of robot takeover. As Americans, we should want humans yes. to fill jobs and not robots. This will separate Americans if we have robots. I agree Without completely. the robots, it will connect these Americans and thus increasing our patriotism. Exactly. Put it there, pal. Okay, so would you say we should remove all robotic technology currently from jobs? Absolutely not. Okay, so currently are robots helping people with their jobs? I, what, what robots? In or, general. In general? Robots. Like Absolutely. you could go with car companies, assembly lines. You'd agree that those robots are helping us, yes. A, a question is okay. the quality of life. Yeah. Yes. I'm, I, I'm getting to that. So you would say those workers' quality of life is better because they are not having to manually assemble these cars. Well, what defines I mean, a robot? Really? Uh, you know, is there quality of is life? Is it like better? Terminator it, robots? It's I mean, not well, no, no, people. exactly. You're right. It doesn't define what type of robot it is. So as long as it is a robot, we're not saying it's going to completely take over their jobs. But if you're saying robots do not improve the quality of life, you are saying that robots currently in society do not improve the quality of life of workers. That's absolutely untrue. This this topic is saying the future. Correct. We're talking about the future, not the past. And right. if we increase the robotivity and all these other robots, it is going to further take away our connection to humans. It is going to further take us away from our own indi individualism. And yes. this will separate us no, as humans. If we increase robotivity, we will have more <laughs> robots activity. doing the simple jobs and more humans doing the creative, more amazing jobs, allowing more people to express their creativity. Okay. All I gotta say, Exhibit A, Detroit Become Human. Ever heard of it? Terminator. Robots are to take over the world, right? This are to be a big part of but our- this never talks about the extent of robots. It just says robots in general. We could add one more robot in the future that improves the quality of someone's life. And we could also and then add boom, one done. that decreases the quality of life. That kills people. That's fair. That is very fair. All right, guys. Well, that's all we have for today's edition of The Roy Show. I would like to thank all of our guests 
and Mr. Martinez for letting us have them on. Make sure to stay tuned next time for another episode of The Roy Show next Monday. And remember, CHS, there's no price to be nice, so make sure to spread some kindness once or twice.